What's going on, guys? I hope you guys are getting to that bag over there. It's very slow, though, that has grow, but I just want to make this quick video, guys. You know, guys, we're going for 65 likes on this video. You know, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, so every time I drop a video, you, 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 and you're going to be the first to watch it. And God bless you for watching my videos. You know, I want to make this quick video, man. Delivery drivers. Have you guys noticed the people, the customers who don't tip, always giving crazy instructions, you know? You know? I just delivered a $6 offer. People are gonna say, yo, big baller, why are you doing a $6 offer? Hold up, you know? You can't be doing big ballers all day. I told you guys, after two, two to four, I take those $6 offers, the quick merchants, you know, Sub Subway, Chipotle. I already knocked out like four deliveries in like an hour. That's like $24 right there, you know? Quick merchants, I don't take, you know, more than two miles. Two miles tops, knock it out real quick, real quick, real quick. I just knocked four four orders. Do the math. Four times six. What is it? Twenty-four. So I just picked up twenty-four dollars. Easy money, quick money. You know? That's how you do it. But my, my point, my point of this video is, have you guys noticed the people who take, you know, the people, the customers who take big, never give instructions. It's always the customers who don't tip. They're no tippers. They always give any crazy instructions. I just dropped this off like a to a hotel, right? He said, leave the food. He, they, 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 they're also rude too. They're rude like a mouth, you know? They're rude. They didn't even say, please, drop the food at the reception. Tell the reception to call me. After that, you call me and let me know you told them to. What? Are you kidding me? You want me to leave the food at the reception, tell the reception to call you, and you want me to call you again. For what? For six dollars? Are you kidding me? Ain't nobody got time for that, man. I remember I used to do that four dollar, three dollar on Grubber when I started. I didn't know nothing, you know. I used to go to these high schools, these high school kids, telling these grown ass man, you know, to come inside your school. Come in, man. You make me, make me come in. You better bring your behind over here and come get your food for three dollar, four dollar. You know, I didn't know nothing because I was new three, four years ago. Now we only do big ballers, only big ballers. We don't do none of that low office, you feel me? That's what you need to be doing too, you know? Ain't nobody got time for no low office, you know? We here to give, 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 we give, we give, we give money. You already know, baby. I want to hear from you guys. What's the craziest instructions you ever got from a customer? I want to hear from you guys. You guys to fly the comment section, you know? I want to hear all that crazy instructions, you know, annoying for just $6 or $5 or $4, $3, you know? My premier gang, you know? What are the crazy instructions you, you ever got on, you know, on any platform? It don't matter if it's DoorDash, Grubhub, Postmates, Uber Eats. I want to hear from you guys what is the craziest instruction you ever got from a customer, you know? Because the big ball is the customers who are tipping big, you know, and then they might, they might give you an instruction here and there, say, hey, please, can you please ring the bell? They always say, please, too. The customers who don't tip, they're rude. They never say, please. Bring the food here. Do this. Do that. Like, come on, man. You're not tipping. And you're giving all the instructions. And you're rude, too. The big tippers, they're always nice. You know? I don't I don't understand it. You know? That's why I keep telling you, I got to keep on cherry picking and picking those big ballers. You know? You got to know how to item counts on DoorDash. Like today, I did a $6. I accepted the $6 offer, but I knew it was going to be a big payout. And I was right. It was a PF chain. $6 offer. It was 13 items. After I drop it, guess what the payout was? $52. You can go to my community tab and check it out. You know, I don't lie. It's all facts, you know? You just got to be able to cherry pick and know which office is going to pay more and which office is not going to pay more, you know? The over, oh, the over guarantee I'm hearing, you know, with the new pay model is gone. But it is what it is, man. We're going to still get this bag. We're going to multi-app and pick up this bag. So, you know... I don't, I mean, I'm slow right now. I just want to make this quick video. Let me guys know. Let me know in the comment section what is the craziest instructions you ever got from a customer. You know, the no tippers. No tippers always giving crazy instructions. You know, and they're always rude. You know, y'all let me know in the comment section. I hope you have a good one. God bless everybody. You are the back. Secure yourself. Know your worth. None of that low office, you know. And God bless everybody, man. Let's go out here and get paid and feed our family, you know. People depend on us, man. Let's go out here and get this bag. Be safe. And God bless you and your family. And you know, and God bless America, guys. Let's get it. Strong.